Hey everyone, Mr. DVB here. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing because today my steelbook copy of Infinity War um, arrived. I got my uh, email notification at like, uh, I think around like two hours ago or something like that saying that it had been delivered. So... Pretty excited. Um, I think I pre-ordered this like maybe almost two months ago or so. Or actually, no, more like a month ago. Um, but, uh, there. Look at that. That looks freaking awesome. But yeah, so I love the movie. Um, super happy with how it turned out. So I was really excited um, to see that they put Thanos in the steel book because. You know, in the past, the other uh, Avengers ones were, like, they're still good, but they're pretty um, average. They just had, like, the uh, Avengers logo on it, and I like that, but I like it when they do something like this, since Thanos is, like, you know, the huge thing about this movie, so. But they put them on the front. It's pretty good. So here is the back. As you can see, it's just, um, you know, saying all the stuff about the movie. Um, it's 4K Ultra HD. IK resolution, high dynamic range, all that kind of stuff. Adobe Atmos. I don't have an Atmos set up, but I do have a 4K TV and 4K Blu-ray player with HDR capabilities. I don't have uh, Dolby Vision, but this Blu-ray doesn't have Dolby Vision anyways. Um, so yeah, one thing that it does annoy me about this Blu-ray a ton is the fact that it was not, um, it didn't include the IMAX aspect ratio. Because um, the movie was filmed 100% in IMAX, making it like, you know, the first film to ever be 100% in IMAX. And they didn't decide to include that on the Blu-ray, which is really confusing to me because, you know, it's like the first movie in IMAX completely. Why would you not just, you know, keep that aspect ratio? So I'm kind of annoyed at that, but oh well. Um, so here is the front of it itself. One thing I thought would have happened is I actually thought this would have been puffed out. It's not, but I, that, I'm not really, like, annoyed by that. But I thought this would have been puffed out like the gauntlet. That would have been really cool, but... um. Yeah, I love this front cover. I love that they put Thanos on it. Um, the other Avengers films always just have, like, an A with some kind of background, similar to, like, you know, the back on here. Now, that would have been kind of cool, but I like this more just because you're seeing Thanos, who is the big part of the movie. Um, I know they just released 4K versions of the first and second Avengers movie, uh, and they had the A, but with characters on the side. That's pretty cool looking as well. Um, but no, I, I love this front cover. I think this is awesome. Really nice steelbook. Here's the spine. Obviously, it's just saying Avengers Infinity War. My focus is kind of off. There you go. And then the back has the A in space, which I actually think looks really, really nice. So, really awesome design here. I'm loving everything that they decided to do with this. So, open it up. I have the uh, digital code that I just got to hide. I will be doing a digital code giveaway. So, in order to enter it, guys, um, you just basically have to subscribe. And then, um, because I will be doing future giveaways, um, such as Jurassic World Solo and any other movie I get. And I get tons of Blu-rays. My collection is over 500 movies, so... Trust me, it's not. It's definitely going to be worth it if you do subscribe. Um, so, yeah, subscribe for that, and then just comment saying, like, your favorite Avengers character and a uh, nice voice crack. And um, what I'll do is I'll just, um, on Thursday, I'll put all the names into a random generator thing that'll just pick one of the YouTubers that commented, and that'll be the winner. Um, like I said, guys, I do all these types of giveaways, so, yeah. Um, so, here's the discs. Um, the 4K disc has Tony Stark... Uh, Doctor Strange, Bruce Banner, and Wong on it, and they're basically, this is in the New York scene when, uh, what's his name, Squidward lands, <laughs> um, so yeah, that looks pretty awesome, I like this disc, pretty nice, there's me, so let's put that over here, and then the regular Blu-ray disc has Black Widow on it, I'm not exactly sure why they put her on it, I just don't think she's a very huge character in this movie at all, um, so I probably would have put, like, Thanos on here or something, you know, just because he's... A little bit bigger of a character than Black Widow in this movie. Um, but yeah, there's the Blu-ray disc. Uh, probably not watch this ever. I mean, I might watch it if I go on a, on a drive and I have my portable Blu-ray player, but I mean, I got 4K now. Um, all right, so here's the backdrop. I'm not the biggest fan of the backdrop, personally, just because of the fact that I like it when they either have actual things from the movie or when they just have some really creative design. And this movie's backdrop, this Blu-ray's backdrop, is literally just the characters. I'm not a huge fan of that. I've seen this in Blu-rays before, and I'm just not a particular fan of it. I mean, to compare it, Thor Ragnarok had 
the scene where Thor was jumping at Hulk, and they were going to fight. That is a really smart backdrop, and it looked really cool. And just kind of like an animated version wasn't actually from the movie, and I liked that. I think here, had they had, like, you know, Thor arriving in Wakanda, something like that, have a huge moment, or just, like I said, have a designed one. Like, maybe just have, like, the six infinity, st uh, infinity stones just going across here. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly what they would do, but I think something like that would have been really cool over just having, like, you know, six or sort of seven characters because we do have a Gamora, Thor, Black Widow, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and Black Panther. Um, again, I don't know why Black Widow is on here. She's not very big in the movie. Black Panther's not very big either. They're probably just choosing him because he's kind of like the new huge character in the MCU, but, you know, I'm just confused as why they wouldn't have Spider-Man or something like that in there. Um... But yeah, so pretty pretty awesome backdrop, though. I mean, I still like it. I just would have preferred if they did something a little bit different. All right, so I'll put the Blu-ray disc back in there. But no, yeah, I'm going to go on to my review section now. So like I said, guys, if you want to join or if you want to, like, enter into the giveaway, like I said, just comment down below. Let me know your favorite Avenger and subscribe for future videos like this. All right, so I'm going to put this into my Blu-ray player and give you guys my actual review of the quality and everything. All right, so here is the film. Pretty much just jump straight into it. I wanna like skip ahead a little bit because I just don't wanna look at the opening scene right now. Um, I am particularly interested in seeing this scene, how it looks. Yeah, this is really great. The detail of black levels are really nice. Um, Stormbreaker. This is the scene I'm I love the most. Um, this is the scene I want to see. In 4K the most. When Thor arrives in Wakanda, this is such an epic scene. All right, so it should be around here. Yeah, back up. Here we go. I'm gonna show for clips because I don't want this video to be taken down from copyright or anything. But basically, uh, yeah, the quality on this Blu-ray is fantastic. There is a lot of incredible detail and close-ups and things. Marvel did a great job because normally their 4K Blu-rays are pretty disappointing. Um, Disney's in general, I should say, not Marvel. Um, you know, in the past, like I heard Black Panther wasn't the best. Uh, Last Jedi was a pretty disappointing one. Um, the only good like 4K Blu-ray I can really think of from Disney in the last while. Um, I'm sure there's been some that I can't think of as I don't own them, but um, for me, the Thor Ragnarok steelbook, which I have somewhere near me, here it is right here, this one has great 4K as well, but I'd say that Infinity War beats it, um, just from what I've seen. So there's the two of them next together, yeah, that looks absolutely sick. Um, I do have Black Panther in 4K, and I'll admit, yeah, the black levels in that Blu-ray are really bad, so when moments take place at nighttime, it just looks washed out, and that was a huge issue with that Blu-ray. Um, completely different in the case of Infinity War. It seems like they did a great job here. I can't talk about the audio really because I don't have an Atmos set up. Um, so I can't really say like, you know, oh, how it travels through the speakers and goes to the overhead. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'd give the quality on this 4K Blu-ray like probably a 10, honestly. Like it's that good. It's fantastic. So guys, remember digital code down below. So uh, enter.